Welcome to Mayo Medical Laboratory's Hot Topics. These presentations provide short discussion of current topics and may be helpful to you in your practice. Our speaker for this program is Dr. Glenn Roberts, a professor of laboratory medicine and pathology and microbiology at Mayo Clinic, as well as a consultant in the division of clinical microbiology. Dr. Roberts discusses the features of specific organisms under direct microscopic examination using multiple preparations. This module examines nocardia. Thank you, Dr. Roberts. Thank you, Sharon, for that introduction. I have nothing to disclose. This is an ongoing presentation that focuses on the individual or groups of organisms as seen in a direct examination of clinical specimens. This next slide shows you a number of uh, stains and methods that can be used to detect fungi, even though they're not designed to do so. And uh, an astute eye can pick up organisms using things like the gram stain, the right stain, and so on. And the next slide shows you a continuation of those methods. And there are a number of things here that you might not expect to find uh, fungi in, but if you look closely, there are times when you certainly can find them. The next slide. We're going to talk about nocardia. Even though nocardia is not a fungus, it is a partially acid-fast bacterium. It's oftentimes seen in the, in the microbacteriology part of the laboratory or in the fungus lab. And it is an organism that is a gram-positive branching uh, bacterium that actually it shows cocobacillary forms in, in, the, in the forms of beading. So you'll see the branching uh, of bacteria. They're branching bacteria, they're aerobic, and they, they show beaded forms, as you see on this slide. The next slide is not very good, but it does show in the background there that there are bacteria that exhibit branching. When you look, this happens to be a phase contrast photomicrograph, which uh, most pr people probably would not use, uh, but it does show, nevertheless, an organism there. And you have to look very closely in the background to see those branching bacteria. It illustrates that point. When you look at a gram stain, you look at some other stains where you can see the same thing. The next slide shows you a phase contrast photomicrograph of a uh, specimen of sputum. And, and there are numerous branching bacteria. And it's important to remember that once you see a situation like this, it is not possible to distinguish nocardia from actinomyces because they are both gram-positive branching bacteria. And this is not a gram stain, by the way. This is phase contrast microscopy. But you would have to do a modified acid-fast stain to be able to distinguish between the two. So the next slide shows you a gram stain of nocardia, and it just illustrates a branching bacteria. And they branch it at all sorts of angles. The next one, next slide shows you some material from an abscess. And if you look closely, you can see the gram-positive branching bacteria in there. And this is a gram stain, shows it very well. Uh, and again, you cannot distinguish nocardia from uh, actinomyces. This next slide shows you a gram stain uh, exhibiting uh, the numerous beading filaments of nocardia that also exhibit branching. The next slide shows you an acid fast stain. And there are branching acid fast uh, bacteria in here. And it's important, I think, to remember that when you look at these acid fast smears that you look at an area where it's not so concentrated because in an area where the stain is concentrated almost everything looks acid fast and if you get away from that area where the, the specimen is thin you can recognize that some of the filaments are are stained with the acid fast stain and some of them are not and in this one it just exhibits good uh, branching and, and it's difficult to tell if it's partially acid fast or not. The next slide came from a psoas abscess and this is uh, showing you the elongated bacteria. There are very filamentous bacteria in here. And you can see some beaded forms in there. And this came, turned out to be a case of nocardia. The next slide shows another acid fast stain in the background. It's very faint. But you can see the branching in there. And I think that's what we're looking for. The next one shows you some material from the psoas abscess again. And there you can see the branching bacteria that are red and they are acid fast. But what we're looking for are partially acid fast bacteria. Some of the filaments will stain with uh, the Kenyan stain or the whatever stain you choose to use, a modified acid fast stain. And others will take up the methylene blue stain or the counter stain. Now the next slide shows you what we're just talking about. If you look in the background you can see some branching bacteria but in the center there are some very faint red organisms in there. 
and those are the acid fast ones there's one about maybe six a long one about six o'clock a little up from the bottom and you can see the the elongated bacterial filaments in there that retain the acid fast stain and then there's some that don't and that's exactly what we're talking about is the modified acid fast stain will show you the partial acid fastness of nocardia the next one shows you a better illustration of that and you can see the acid fast filaments there and in the background there are some that are not but you can see the beaded forms in this one just a bit the next slide shows you uh, even better example of nocardia what's apparent there are the, the beaded acid fast bacteria and then around uh, near those would be the ones that are not stained with the acid fast stain and there so you would see partially acid fast bacteria some stains some do not but the beating is very prominent the next slide shows you an area that you would probably not want to look in this is an area where it's highly concentrated in almost everything stained with the acid fast stain and so I would move around to another part of the field uh, another part of the slide and see if I can find something that looks better than this and this kind of re-emphasizes the point that we've made before in other discussions that you need to look at the entire slide before you make a decision as to what you're going to call something. The next slide shows you uh, partially acid fast bacteria up around 10 o'clock and then there are some in there that are standing kind of blue and those are the ones that take up the, the background stain. So there are partially acid fast bacteria in here and this is a silver stain that we use for detecting fungi and it deposits silver around the cell wall of organisms uh, that it stains and what happens is it, it makes the cells look larger and they're actually easier to see and bacteria stain with a silver stain and this happens to be an example of nocardia as stain with a methanamine silver stain and so you can't tell this from actinomyces so you'd have to, do it to order a partially acid fast stain partial acid fast stain or a modified acid fast stain to be able to distinguish it from actinomyces even though actinomyces is not as common as it used to be